It's Erin's turn. It's that time again. Fitness Q&A video. The first question comes from Relita. She asks, what do you suggest for vegans as a good protein source for muscle building and definition? Well, Relita, if you're an ovo-lacto-vegetarian, I would suggest, of course, egg whites, Greek yogurt, and other dairy. And if you're a strict vegan, I would suggest a protein that has a full amino acid profile. And that would be um, something like hemp protein or pea protein, and I think even rice protein. But um, supplementation is definitely important as a vegan, and you, like I said, want to make sure that the protein sources are complete so that you can build muscle with it. The next question comes from Ashley. She asks, I eat six meals per day and I hit all of my macros, but I still feel hungry. I'm still working on getting rid of a little bit of fat on my lower belly and thighs, so I don't want to overeat, but I also want to feel satisfied until my next meal. What's your best advice? Well, Ashley, I know a lot of times when we diet, we do typically feel hungry, um, and I found by increasing the fibrous vegetables in my diet, I'm less hungry throughout the day. Also by drinking more water, and I do a little trick. I take carbonated water and I add stevia to it, and it makes sort of like a, you know, like a diet soda, and the carbonation tends to help keep me fuller longer. So two things, increase vegetables and increase your liquid intake. And also try not to focus on diet, because when we have scarcity, um, a lot of times we we want whatever we can't have. So um, just try to try to not feel deprived, if, um, if that makes any sense. The next question comes from Sandra. She asks, I'm quite happy with my upper body, but now I'm concentrating on my legs. I now do two sessions a week. What is your ideal leg workout, sets and reps and intensity? Well, Sandra, it depends. If you're looking to build muscle, I would recommend doing maybe like four or five sets of eight and you know somewhere around four exercises, four to five exercises total, and really increasing the time under tension if you're trying to build muscle. So more volume, a little bit slower pace for building muscle, and then if you're trying to get your legs a little bit leaner, I would suggest doing supersets and keeping your heart rate up and you know maybe doing a little bit more more reps so like three sets of 12 to 15 to 20 you know something like that and more body weight exercises and if you're trying to build muscle obviously you want to go a little bit heavier the next question comes from Brittany she asks what should a good warm-up include and how long should it be before I start pumping iron well Brittany usually what I do is somewhere around five or ten minutes of you know light walking, jogging, elliptical, something like that. And then um, I do a little bit of dynamic stretching. So any kind of range of movement stretching like leg swings or arm swings, um, you don't want to necessarily do static stretching before you lift because um, that can lead to micro tears in the muscle. And then you're going to lift, which creates micro tears. So you have a, a higher chance of pulling something if you do static stretching before. So any kind of you know, like I said, arm swings, leg swings, dynamic movements. And then also, if you're starting out with, say, squats, squat with just your body weight for 10 to 12 reps or just the bar, something light, and, um, you know, get the muscles used to that range of motion. The last question comes from Heather. She asks, geez, I have so many questions. <laughs> if you had one exercise for glutes, what would it be? Well, Heather... I can't choose just one. And I think my favorite ones would be sprints, of course, and sprints outside on a flat level surface and uh, not on pavement, and also running stadiums, squats below parallel, and then your isolation exercises, reverse hyperextensions, even RDLs, weighted bridge, hip thrusts. Um, there's so many different good exercises for glutes, but keep in mind anytime you're doing a squat or a lunge and your upper leg goes below parallel, you're going to be hitting the glutes. So hopefully that helps. That's it for questions for this week. Until next week, train hard y'all. Thanks.